Call me Mona or Luna or Mona Luna, whichever one, I don't care. So today I will be talking about the right and the left hand path. So this is going to be more of a sit down talk kind of video. And I've recently been seeing a lot of talk about the right and the left hand path. Um, but most of the time I see people mislabeling and misusing the terms. And it's really irritating the absolute hell out of me. It's very irritating and like I don't feel like retyping the same paragraph millions and millions of times so i thought why not just make a video about it so before i get into that though i want to just say in general the right and the left hand path they're just two ways of achieving enlightenment so they both have the same goal um both of them have different ways of doing that so the left hand path is an approach to attain greater wisdom through your own willpower through your own strength and your own self-sacrifice so people of the left hand path they believe in what they believe in and nobody else has to conform to your beliefs everybody can have a different set they're very accepting of other world views there's not one right way to think about things they don't believe in having a religious authority to guide them through their own spirituality they generally don't believe in the need of having a higher power to achieve greater wisdom. The right hand path is an approach to attain greater wisdom through these ideas and symbols of goodness, through the submission of a to a higher power and unity with that said higher power. People who are of the right hand path their beliefs are reflected within their community so everybody in that community has the same beliefs and religious authority kind of guides them through their spirituality so everybody doesn't really have an individual set of beliefs they're all the same they all are within that community and they're very focused on like a spiritual experience so they're not so focused on like the real world they're more focused on their spirituality to try and be unified with the higher power that they believe in there's this constant idea of being good of like being light so that's kind of like where the love and light starts to come in and and this is where i'm going to start uh, talking about uh, what really pisses me off when people use the right and the left hand path um and it, i'm just because the right hand path is associated with these like ideas of good then what's the opposite of good evil so what does the left hand path get labeled as evil and i'm here to say that the left and the right hand path are not inherently good or evil you could thank the romans for that back then when people were practicing sorcery as they say when the catholic church didn't have that hold over society people would practice necromancy so necromancy was basically going to the dead and raising up the spirits of the dead to talk to ancient teachers to talk to the spirits of the dead and that's how they achieve their wisdom and when the catholic church grabbed control of society again they outlawed necromancy and was it was basically labeled as a heresy it was labeled as black magic people associate the left hand with black magic and that kind of carried on into the rest the western world and the western occult uh ideas and stuff like that it just and where, where when it really starts to get messed up is when the slave trades were happening when the slave trade happened and the people in africa were forced out of their homes and shipped across the ocean because their faith their religion was not christian or catholic they were accused of performing black magic they were beaten they were punished they were killed and that's where that racial connotation comes from in black magic it is very stupid that people still use that terminology today to describe magic magic is neither black or white it is not good or evil it is neither it just is people still have that terminology in that in, in their vocabulary like just just delete it out of your brain please like people that do curses and hexes and everything that's de deemed as evil it's not evil people that were using that especially during the time when slavery was happening were slaves 
that were protecting themselves against their slave owners. That was their way of defending themselves from people that, that, that were using them, abusing them, that were killing them. Black and white magic. They were labels that oppressed people for many, many years and still oppresses people and it's stupid people were forcing their beliefs on them like this is the right way this is this is the good like you're evil it's so stupid like you didn't even exist prior to a lot of these religions that were already there like like if you're gonna describe anything that involves like curses or hexes or like just any religion that doesn't really follow through with the right hand path like use a different word just don't use light or dark don't use white or black okay that's it just don't don't even argue with me don't argue with me because you can do the research for yourself and you should be doing research for yourself if you are studying the occult and you are practicing any type of spiritual practice because when you are doing that you are signing your soul away to be a student forever for the rest of your damn life you don't have to conform to either or path both of them have the same goal they're both trying to attain they're do, they're both trying to achieve enlightenment so why why restrict yourself to just one they both have the same end goal you have options so just anybody can follow both anybody can do one or the other it does not matter hello it is future mona luna here i am going to attempt to wrap up and bring together my points that i was trying to say because i was getting too heated and i had to stop recording because i was starting to not make sense so basically what i'm trying to say is that i hate it when people try to use the right and the left hand path to describe something that is good or evil because by definition that is not what they are used for and the fact that people still associate white and black magic with the right and the left hand path is stupid. It's so deeply rooted in racism. Why are we still using those outdated terms? You know, we're living in a time right now where we are deconstructing these strong racial roots that we have in our society in the US. And you know, why are we still using these old outdated terms? You know, if you're practicing witchcraft, if you're practicing magic or anything like that, you are actively participating in something that is by nature politically charged so why not in the witchcraft community in the spiritual community like why can't we just eliminate just eradicate the use of black and white magic it is so outdated it is so deeply rooted in racism we really shouldn't be using those terms today magic is neither good or bad it's the intent behind it is what gives it those qualities but by itself it is neither it just exists i hate that people still try to put their beliefs on others like for example wiccans when people are like you can't curse and you can't do this stuff because the threefold law do you not realize that not everybody believes in the threefold law and the same goes for any other religion that's just an example and that's just something that like i feel like is more is like relevant that is easy to understand it's not just wiccans that do that everybody does it you know everybody in any religion can do that and it's so annoying what is true for one person is not true for the other person truth is subjective so who are we to really say what is true and what is not especially when it comes to religion who are we to really say what is one true religion and what is not there are many religions and there are religions that have existed longer than others why can't we just be accepting of these paths the journey that somebody takes is not going to be the same journey that somebody else takes we are all unique we are all different we are not the same and it's not to say that people who are of the right hand path i'm not saying that it is wrong for you to be of the right hand path that is not what i'm saying if you feel like the right hand path is the right fit for you good for you but that doesn't mean that somebody else is going to feel the same way just as how somebody who follows the left hand path that is not the path that is for everybody I think I ranted enough. I think I drove my points across. So I am going to be returning to whatever videos I had filmed inside my house to conclude this video. <laughs> That's all I have for today. <laughs> I just wanted to clear that out of the way. I hope I explained it right. If you have any questions about it, you can feel free to ask me. I will answer them to the best of my ability. Um, that concludes my video. I hope you had a good day. I hope you're having a good day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.
Catholic Church was like, oh my god, you're raising demons. So, <laughs> they... <laughs> so, they said... <laughs> that was the best invoice I've ever made. <laughs>